Hello everyone, so today I'm going to make a quick tutorial and show you guys how to install and run Xenia while under Linux. Now I'm running the Pop! OS 2.04 which is a different flavor of Ubuntu, however this should also work for Linux Mint and other distributions like Arch and that, I don't know. It should work though. Uh, there should be different methods otherwise, but this is all under Wine. This should work on not on most, if not all, distributions of Linux. So to start, we are going to go to Zinnia.jp. We're going to go to the download section, and we're going to download the master build. And now you can choose wherever you want to download this to. I'm going to save this to my desktop because, well, I can. So we'll close our tab. Close Chrome, and now for some reason, my files have decided to save to my other monitor, which is nice. Um, I can bring it over here. Here we go. And now I'm going to extract this and extract the files. Here we go. And of course, that's going to put them on my other monitor. Cool. Doesn't matter. Of course, it's not going to bring all the files. Right, so the main file we want here is just xenia.exe itself, because that is the main part. So now you've got your xenia.exe. <coughs> Will this run straight up under Linux? No. So, to start, I'm going to make a folder. Just name it Xenia. Keep everything intact. Of course, that's going to go to my other monitor. I'm still new to Linux myself, so give me a moment. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Xenia in here. Cool. Now, to be able to set the files properly, uh, you will want to make a new uh, text document of some kind. I'm going to use uh, gedit, I think it is, there we go. And I'm just going to save it somewhere. So save to my desktop inside of Xenia. Just save it, doesn't matter, you just need a file of some kind. Now we're going to rename this to portable txt and now that'll give us the ability to edit uh, the config and everything in here rather than it going to a documents file which I cannot find because Windows file system is very different to Linux so anyway we've got that set up now you will want to go to your application store or whatever in my case I run pop OS so it's called the pop shop and it's gone to my monitor again that's annoying so now you're gonna to want to look for Lutrius, or Lutrius, sorry. Now I already have this installed, but you can install it yourself. Pretty easy, you just click install from here, done. So you'll have Lutrius installed, and then next you'll want to go to your Lutrius. Keep calling Lutrius, I'm sorry, let's go to Lutrius. And now <clears throat> you'll see I already have a one set up for Xenia. You know the icon, that's just some default icon it uses. So next we're going to go add game. And we're going to give it a name, we're going to call this Xenia Demo for the video. We'll set it to Wine. If you don't have Wine already, go Install Runners. And, no. Oh, sorry. Uh, when you first install Wine, you'll click this download button. And you'll select the latest version of Lutrius. In my case, I'm using Lutrius F Shack 5.7. And it works no problem for me. So now we're going to go up here, Add Game name Xenia demo for my case you can call it Xenia however you want to set it as a wine and then we'll locate the executable so in my case I go desktop Xenia Xenia.exe and this is all fine and dandy all works well now you can enable VKD3D if you want to maybe DirectX 12 will work in future with this but currently it doesn't work with Xenia but you can have it set now future proof yourself if you really want to but anyway now when you click play in my case it'll launch straight up because I've already done it however you might get a few pop-ups saying install this install that whatever and now that we've got our Xenia running here it's as simple as going to open and then going to I'm gonna locate my games uh, so it's like a Windows file system, so I'll just go to my external drive, here we go, cool. Alright, so I'm here, so I'm now I'm going to go to my Xbox 360 games, because um, I've got all my game dumps that I've dumped with my console, put onto my external hard drive, 
and then I've laid them out all nicely so I can easily access them. Now we can go whatever you game want. I'm going to go for an XBLA game because these are simple to run, and I'll go for stuff that I know will run Banjo Kazooie. Now, this is a SCFS package. Problem is, for some reason, they won't show up when you're using Wine. So you have to actually set all files and select it here. Why that happens, I don't know. Now you'll notice here, well, it's just a black window. I can hear the game. The game is running, but we can't see it. Now, to answer that, well, the game is obviously running. So, to fix that, this is why we made it in a folder. Because now we have all our config file and everything here. So what you want to do is you're going to want to open your config file with text editor of some kind. In my case, it'll open with gedit. And you'll want to scroll down to the GPU section. Now where it says GPU any, we want to set this to Vulkan. Now, maybe in future, if, if that ran straight up for you and it displayed, well done. But currently, in this time period, VKD3D unfortunately doesn't have proper DirectX 12 support, at least for Xenia's case. But anyway, now that we got that, we're going to go back to Lutris and hit play. Now, big word of warning, because we're using Vulkan, which is very unfinished for Xenia, in Xenia's case at least, um, most games will not work. If they do work, they might crash, they might display very incorrectly. So you're probably going to be limited to, well, um, a lot of, I guess, in, uh, XBLA games. So again, we'll fire up Banjo-Kazooie. Again, it's not going to show up for some reason. That's a weird issue, but anyway, and here we go. So now I'm using my keyboard. That works. Or I can grab my controller, plug that in, and it's going to run exactly how it would with a controller. Now, as you can obviously see, performance is not great under Vulkan. Vulkan itself is a... Uh, yeah, very unfinished, very incomplete for Zidia. Doesn't run very well. Some games can. I don't know of any. I'm going to try messing around now. Let's see if we can get the one to run nicely. Uh, in my case, oh. here we go. I'm going to go to Blue Dragon because I know Blue Dragon works. It doesn't display properly, but it will work. But not great. It's really trial and error with Vulcan, unfortunately. Maybe Vulcan will have better support in future, but, or even DirectX 12 might work under VKD3D. But until then, well, you know. Yeah, so I'll fire up my Blue Dragon demo, for example. I can full screen with F11 like normal. Exactly how it would normally run while on Windows. The only uh, inhibiting factor we are stuck behind is, unfortunately, we're running without DirectX 12. In my in my experience, the audio seems to actually work just as well as it does on Windows. Um, and I don't think there's any compatibility issues apart from the fact that we're stuck behind Vulkan, Whoa, which, as you can see, is very unfinished for Zinnia's case, unfortunately, but, I mean, if you find some games that run, happy days for you, and anyway, I hope everyone has enjoyed watching this tutorial, I hope you, if you have any issues trying to get this to run, uh, your issues have been sorted, if not, uh, you can leave a comment, or you can join the Zinnia Discord, which the link will be in the description below, and you can come on across and ask for help. Uh, most people will probably not help you since you're on Linux, but if you really do need help, feel free to ping me if I'm available. I will try and help and respond. But anyway, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye. Yeah.